Hi everybody, once more we returned to Charlieville Forest Castle near Tullamore in Ireland. As you recall last September the group attended here to carry out an all night investigation and we captured quite a bit of activity within the building. The most particularly active area was Harriet's staircase. And just to recap, Harriet was the daughter of the Burry family who in the mid 19th century allegedly slid down the balustraded staircase and slipped and fell to her death. And the gloomy atmosphere which prevailed last time is still here. I'm currently standing inside the nursery, which is regarded as being Harriet's uh, playroom, just prior to when she emerged onto the staircase and slid down the balustrades and fell to her death below. Will Harriet actually make a personal appearance? As you recall, last time we recovered EVP from here, which was the pitiful cry of a little girl singing, saying, Do you love me? So there are many mixed emotions in here for me and I'm hoping tonight we might be able to tread a little bit more deeply into the troubled history of this particular chapter in this child's life. On leaving the nursery I reminded myself of my last experiences here and wondered what the night ahead lay in store for us. The building seemingly had an optimism of expectancy which left me feeling that the spiritual presences of Charlieville had more yet to reveal and offer. I then made my way over to the ruined chapel where I caught up with Trey Shallow who like us is a fellow paranormal investigator and our night safety officer. Have you actually seen any ghosts here? I haven't actually seen anything, but I've seen what they can do and I felt what they can do. I got tumped in the lower back in the dungeon and I was, if you can see on the camera, I'm standing like this at the wall and this is exactly where I was, how I was standing in the dungeon with about this much room behind me in the wall and we were all holding hands. So there was no way anyone that was with us could have tried to do a quickie by hitting me in the lower back, you know, so. Yeah, I don't go down there anymore now. <laughs> <laughs> Which, what would you consider to be the most haunted part of the building of Charlieville Forest Castle? I think the most haunted for me is the library. I think that is the most active. You know, it's, I, I feel it has a lot of, and maybe because of the fact as well that the Masons used it quite a lot, and libraries back in them days would have been very male orientated. You know, the men would have used them quite a lot. But, um, I do, I, in there I just get a very strong sense that there was something there like just uh, it was actually once when I went to do a tour there because again I help with doing tours here in the castle and I went to open the library door and I knew it wasn't locked even though I had the, the, I bring the keys with me just in case to prove to people look it's not locked but um I went to open the door as I said door wouldn't open and the husband of the couple that was with me said, do you want me to get that for you, love? And I said, you know what, I do, I said, but I want, you to try, I want to try something here just to show you that I'm not pretending to try and open this door and it won't open. I said, would you mind letting your wife try and open the door? So the wife went to open the door as well and wouldn't open for her. So then I said to the husband, yeah, you go ahead now and try and do it. And he literally just put his hand on the handle, turned the door opened. You know, so for me, I kind of get the sense as if the Masons are trying to tell us you're not allowed in here as being a female. So um, he let the ma they let the males in, all right, but not us. Well, the, the, what's more uh, regarding the ghost like spiritual here is Harriet. She is one of the main spirits that roam around this castle and, and their grounds. You know, you do have quite a few, but for her, I think, you know, it was a very family-orientated 
um, building for quite a many years, you know, that way. So as well as being used as a stronghold. But I think even with it being used as a stronghold, I think the impact of the family living here itself is what's more prominent, mm. which is, comes out more strong. You know, that way, like there are rooms you get an eerie feeling in that just is not nice. And you're wondering would that have been due to the fact of, you know, torture that would have taken place of people. But then you'd walk into another room and you feel just at peace, you know. So it, it's it's strange with buildings like this, you know, it's great. What is the magic of Charlie Wheel for you? I just get drawn to it because being Irish, you know, it's pretty, and even though this was English owned and so forth, the way I see it, a lot of blood and sweat from... Irish men and women were put into this and I feel that for them you know I don't it's, it's like the way you are for me you know from your country you probably kind of cherish the hard work that your country and fe our fellow country men have put into things and like this is history you know this is Irish history at the end of the day and it should be preserved so that's why I come down and volunteer my time. How do you feel about being back here? Are you looking forward to the investigation tonight? Of course, look, always looking forward to the investigation here. Um, really interested to get back on the staircase. It's just like the last time. It was the main key area of activity that we caught here. You know, the likes would like to get some EVPs, same as we caught the last time. What was your most memorable experience from when we were here last September? Well, I'd have to say there's two, the two memorable experiences, to be honest. One, obviously, was the EVP that we caught in the nursery. The second one was when I was sitting on the landing of the third floor staircase and the door slamming, obviously, but there was nobody around because we checked the doors prior to doing the investigation. And that really shook me up, so fingers crossed we get something like that again. Jesus. Great, so let's look forward to the investigation tonight. Fingers crossed we get some good activity. Anyway, join us a bit later as we commence our all-night investigation at Charlieville Forest Castle.